Hello everyone, today I show you how to combine Mixamo animations and add your own ones. So let's get started. First go to the Mixamo website and choose a character you want or you can even upload your own characters here. After that go into the animations tab and search for T-Pose. I always like to start my animations in a T-Pose, this just makes things like uh, cloth animations later more accessible. After that I download this simple T-Pose and I also search for different animations. Let's add in just a normal walking animation. Just select it and make sure you have in place also selected. This just makes sure everything works fine and properly later. Alright, if you have all your animations you want, you can go back into Blender. Just go to File, Import, FBX and load in your T-Pose you have. Now what we will use is first of all we change this one to Drop Sheet and change the Drop Sheet to Action Editor. And we uh, open a new tab and search for the Non-Linear Animations tab. In the Actions Editor down here we see that the T-Pose animations is only two frames. So we take the second frame and move this one to frame 30. This animation or this sequence we call T-Pose. So let's just rename this to T-Pose. And we can also rename the armature here to T-Pose. After that we can just hit here, push down action or push down here. And if we click this, we create like a action sequence which is just T-Pose. We can move this one around later and it is, is really useful and really handy. To add in the second animation, we have also to import the animation via FBX. So let's just select this one. And to not get confused, we rename this one to walking animation or just walking. And we also rename the animation we have down here to walking. After that, we can hide this armature and also this body. So we only see the T-pose right here. And let's select the armature of the T-pose. Under the drop down menu here, we can change the different animations we have. So we select the walking animation and let's also hit push down to create this, this segment of animation. As we can see now we have the T-Pose and the walking segment but they do not combine properly. All we have to do now is select the walking segment and change the extrapolation to nothing and as we can see we see both animations right here. To make the transition more smooth we can go over here to blend in and move this one up and as you can see we get this, this beveled edge right here and this just means this is how long the transition between the two animations is. Now as we can see the walk cycle is super short. To expand this one we select the walk cycle, go to action clip and just increase the repeat section. Let's go for maybe 5. So as we can see this animation repeats itself for 5 cycles. Now to also add in your own animation, we hide this one for now. We will bring this one back later. And let's import the T-Pose again. Let's rename this armature to own animation or you can name it whatever you like. Now we can just select the armature of this character and go into pose mode and create the animation we want to have. For this example I just animated the character waving, super simple animation right here. Now we do the exact same thing as before, we select the armature, call this one waving and we can hide this character. Now we have to unhide our real character, the one we have animated before. Select the armature of this character and under this drop down menu we can select the waving animation we just created before and let's hit push down and as we can see we have created a third animation element we can move at the back here 
and again to see all the other animations we have to change it from hold to nothing so now we can see all animations but the transition is super harsh so again change the blend in value and as we can see this works fine I increase this a little bit more and the character stops and starts waving so you have added your own animation into this just make sure you have one main character where you import every animation you have and the other animations or characters are just decoys so to speak if you have any questions write them in the comments and i see you the next time bye bye